forces using them to mount soldiers as well as to use to transport artillery and supply wagons. In order to meet, help the military meet the large demand for horses, the Toronto Police Service offered to make some of our horses to military service. Major McDougall, the major in charge of the 9th Canadian Field Artillery, also known as the Toronto Battery, visited the police stable and selected 18 of our best horses for duty with the battery. Five mounted officers volunteered to accompany the horses in the military service. One of these was Constable Tom Dundas. The 18 Toronto Police horses arrived in England with the 1st Canadian contingent and endured one of the bitterest winters on record. By February 1915, the horses arrived in France, and on April 22nd, 1915, they were in St. Julien when the Germans launched the first gas attack of the war. The first of our 18 horses was killed that day, and the remaining Toronto Police horses would go on to serve in every battle fought for the Canadians in France, including Billy Ridge. During the war, 16 more Toronto Police horses would die in the service of their country, and when the war ended, one police horse pony, a chestnut gelding, was still alive and serving with the Toronto Battery. In the spring of 1919, Bunny was being ridden by Battery Sergeant Major Thomas Dundas, our former constable. Bunny's first rider was Tom Dundas's brother, and when he was killed in action, Dundas took the horse as his own. Bunny survived the hardship of four years of continual war service. It was surely a miracle. Major Cook, the officer in charge of the battery, wrote to the mayor of Toronto, telling him about Bunny and how against all odds, this original member of the battery had survived the war. The members of the unit wanted Bunny brought home. The mayor forwarded the request to the chief of police of the Toronto and the Toronto Board of Police Commissioners. They recognized the importance of Bunny and wanted to celebrate the survival of this magnificent police horse. After some hesitation, the military agreed to allow the horse to return to Toronto, provided the costs were paid by the Toronto Police Commission. The Police Commission voted to pay the cost, but sadly, money was sold to the Belgian government for 40 pounds before the funding could reach Europe. Of the 81,000 Canadian horses sent overseas, only 60 would return home. The average life expectancy for a horse at the front was 40 days. Bunny served continually in the front lines for the duration of the war. And in 2002, a tribute to this brave horse was read out on the floor of the Senate in Ottawa. But sadly, the service of our horses has largely been forgotten. The story of War Horse and the current stage production in Toronto has done more to educate the public about the service of our Canadian horses than any that I can recall. The story of Albert and Joey is so very similar to that of Dundas and Bunny. The stage production adds an element of emotion that cannot be conveyed through the pages of a history book. Thanks to the production War Horse, many Torontonians are now aware of the remarkable service of our own Toronto War Horses. In London, England, there's a war memorial paying tribute to the animals that have served in the military. In Ottawa, a group led by an 89-year-old World War II veteran is currently raising funds for a memorial to be erected in Ottawa's Confederation Park to honour Canadian War Service animals. 133 Toronto police officers served in the military during the Great War. 25 were killed in action and many more wounded. It is important that we recognize the service of both our officers and our horses. One of the ways we do this is through the naming of police horses. Accompanying Joey today is Toronto Police Mount Vimy Ridge. Serving Toronto since 2004, Vimy Ridge is named in honour of all who have served in the Great War. Next we have Dundas, who was named in honour of Thomas Dundas, Bunny's rider and a member of our unit, and the most decorated member of the Toronto Police Service to serve in the Great War. The third horse is Timmis, who is named after Colonel Reginald Timmis, the commander of the Toronto Squadron of the Royal Canadian Dragoons and a Vimy Ridge veteran. We also have today Dragoon. He was named in honour of the Royal Canadian Dragoons, a cavalry regiment that was based here in Toronto and served at Vimy Ridge under the command of Colonel Timmis. Finally, we have Honest Ed, who was named in honour of Honest Ed Mervish, and there is no doubt Mr. Mervish would be very proud of the War Horse production and the recognition that it provides to all of the War Horses that have served us so well. We're now going to move into the laying of the reeds.
call on Mr. On Flying Officer Sam Garnett to lay our wreath on behalf of all of veterans. Don, if you could stay there for just a second. There's a second wreath we would like you to relay for the veterans as well as the City of Toronto. Could you lay this wreath for us as well? Thank you. I'd now like to call on Don McCumber, the President of the Cadets, to come forward to lay a wreath on behalf of the Cadets. I would now like to call on Staff Superintendent Jane Wilcox to lay a wreath on behalf of the Toronto Police Service. And now Alex Ferber from the War Horse Production will now lay a wreath on behalf of the production crew. I would now ask all of you to rise for the playing of God Save the Queen. God save a gracious queen, long live our noble queen, God save the queen. event. We're now going to dismiss Joey. The Toronto Police Horses will be staying around for those that would like to meet them and thank you very much for coming and thank you to all our participants. I liked all well, I didn't really learn about the, well, I liked the medals, but I liked the medals and took it out. Thank you. As a mom, so try so much.
with that bridge. Um, so, so you guys went to the first one. How does that feel to be here? How does that feel to see that people remember? It's really amazing. It always feels good to hear all the Fought a war yourself, you were in Europe yourself. When you fight a war, it must be important to see that people remember what you did, the effort that you did. And we're talking about people as Vimy, but for every battle is the same thing. How does that feel as a veteran to see people remember your effort in the war? So, I mean, I've always felt it was like, describe the day you got it.